Ah, shoot. Ah, I like that. Nothing unnerves me more than unusable pockets. Ah, I told you guys there was a twist. Yes. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. And this is a unique one. Today, I have been inspired by some things that I've seen on Pinterest. And it is this waist belt or a denim belt. That's what we'll call it, I don't know. But it looks so, so simple. But you know, when you're on Pinterest and you get to scroll and you see other things and they pop in your mind, you pop in your mind and you just like, Ooh, and the ideas start just percolating. <laughs> so that is what happened. So I'm going to share with you guys this uh, tutorial. Um, I while I was searching and realizing what I wanted to do, I did come across this tutorial. Um, it's not what I based my tutorial off of, but I did see that she already had a tutorial, so I wanted to shout it out right now. Um, so definitely go check that out. We are going to do one no sew denim belt as well as one sewing denim belt that is going to to almost be like a garter style. You don't want to miss this because it has a twist. Yes, it has a big twist at the end. So let's do it. All right, first up is our no sew one. First you want to make sure um, that your jeans fit in the waist. These particular pair of jeans, I think are one of the pair of jeans from my 25 pair of jeans. I took the flat fill seam off the inside seam and made this top out of it. So I think this is one of, maybe the last one. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open this up. You can go straight up the center right here and just separate it, or you can split it so that the zipper is split. I mean, I could use my seam ripper and take it out, but I wanna go ahead and do that. I know, I'm making it more complicated, but you feel free. Just cut right around here but I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more of that zipper part. Anybody has any tips on like quick ways to take out buttonholes? Oh, what am I talking about? I'm the one who just gave y'all a tip a couple videos ago. I don't know why I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Ah! So silly. This is a surgical seam ripper. I ordered it on Amazon. And I like to use them on denim because denim is strong enough to take it. And I like to use it on those like just really, really tough seams to get in between and just kind of razor that seam away. You can also use a razor blade for this. Cut away from you. I have to remind myself. All right, so the only thing that's holding it now is the zipper. And I just gotta figure out which side do I want the zipper you know, which side do I want to cut the zipper off on? Um, this is the hidden side, so I am actually going to cut it off on that side. Ah, I like that. All right, now you want to figure out how long you want it to be. I definitely want my pockets to show underneath, so I need to establish some pockets are longer than others. This is a woman's pair of jeans, which means its pockets are shorter. Why? I don't know. I feel my pockets end of them are right here so I think I'm gonna cut around this area this is a sliver of soap and then what I'm actually going to do on the back hey I'm gonna cut around the pocket all right so we're gonna take this loose and start cutting make sure you move your inside pockets out of the way if that's something you want to keep and it doesn't matter what type of scissors you use for this one because um, we're gonna let this fray I'm gonna throw it in the washing machine let it fray and let it do its thing because I'm not fraying nothing by hand and I'm cutting right up against the pocket and I, matter of fact I wanted that to be more so I'm gonna cut it I want it to be that like that much that much hanging down. Okay, we're gonna cut up to that level, cross. All right, then make sure the pocket is out of the way and then cut this side. Darn it! All right, before I finish the front, I wanna bring them back together to make sure that they're the same length. All right, so here is our no sew belt and make sure you don't cut the pocket like I did. This is the back of it. 
that's gonna be super cute. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. I have all types of tutorials for you. Easy tutorials, no so tutorials, all the way up to the most amazing, epic, upcycle tutorials and we also have a series going on where i am sharing with you sewing and upcycling basics so yes you don't want to miss that hit that subscribe button and now back to the video let's do a sewing variation and you can also do this one no sew absolutely and just let it fray on the edges but i wanted this one to be finished and see how it looks this is more of like a garter style i've been seeing people have these like obi belts but they have the garters hanging down and I'm and you guys know I like anything hanging down. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like tassels and things that hang down. But um, I'm just drawing bring it back up. I think that I'm going to do them on the front and the back. Where's the pockets? So I think I'm cool with cutting through this both front and back. We want to take our pockets, inside pockets or front pockets out of the way. Okay, so we do want to leave seam allowance on this one. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Got my finger with the tip and scissors. All right, so we have another scrap for another day. And this is what we're left with. That is the front. That is the back. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Let's go ahead and open up this front part. I'm gonna do it exactly how I did the last one, so I'll do that off camera and we'll be back. All right, so here it is with the zipper open. All we have to do left, we are not going to do the ends, but for the edges, we're just going to double fold hem those. And what I mean by that is fold once and fold again and then we sew along the edge. Here's a tip about when you are upcycling jeans. Try to choose a thread that matches the thread that has already been used. So like you can see here, they're using like this greenish gray color thread. So that's what I did so that it matches. All right, so here we go. I thought I was gonna be able to do this project without having to get anything other than what I had in the house, but I wanted to add D-rings, so I ordered this pack of 20 on Amazon for $9. They came today, so I'm gonna add these to the ends. And that way, I don't know. I don't know what this is <laughs> gonna end up being, but I wanna hang something off of it. Whatever I wanna do, that's, that's my prerogative. So we're gonna add these. I just put them in, and I'm gonna sew it down on the other side. Um, I could double fold this, but that's a lot of layers, a lot of layers. And I want to do this with my regular sewing machine, so. All right, so what I've decided to do, instead of do like a double fold and try to do it all at once with the ring in it, I'm just gonna fold it over once and then sew that. I do have a jean needle in my sewing machine. It's actually a, a number 100 uh, slash 16. My sewing machine did a good job of going through it. If you find that your sewing machine is getting bunched up in there, try increasing the stitch length. I increased it from 2.5 to three and that did help. So now I'm gonna add the D-ring and fold it over and I'm gonna sew from the top. And once again, I'm gonna line the edge of my foot up with as far over as this can go. You can also use a zigzag foot. I am going to work with what I have, which is just my regular foot, but it does have this spring thing on it. And it basically works as like a hump jumper. So I'm gonna put the foot on the edge right here next to the bottom of the D-ring. I'll put my foot down and you can see it's doing this. Whenever your foot is doing that, it's gonna have a really, really hard time going over that hump. So the idea is that you really wanna always have your foot level. So that's what this thing does. You can push it in and it'll keep your foot level as you're trying to sew. And you can see that it popped out once it got over the hump. And that is it. All right, so I am super excited to style this. Let's see how it turned out.
twist. Yes, I turned it into a top. I'll go back and show it to you. Or if you already thought this while I was making this, in the comments, let me know if we're on the same vein. I have seen this done on Pinterest, so that's the only reason I'm gonna do it. And the way I'm gonna convert it to a top is gonna be pretty cool. But nothing unnerves me more than unusable pockets. So these pockets are gonna be upside down and I hate that makes my blood boil a little bit. So I'm gonna take the D-ring through here we just need something to hold it. So I have these purse attachments and I think that it would look really cute like that. Oh, and this is what it'll look like on the back. That's cute, I like that. So I just need something right here to hold that there. I'm just going to cut off a piece of this. All right, so we just need to, all right, so I'm gonna sew it down on both sides, then I'm gonna put this through, but uneven, and then I'll sew down this, and then I'll fold this over. Well, that'll only be five layers of denim, and sew down this, and it'll look finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the most beautiful thing I ever made. Look, mama, I made it. Oh, my. My gosh, yes. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's begin from the beginning. The no so belt. For what it is, yes. Like snip, snip, cut, cut, yes, yes. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Just to have something that you can just simply pair with something that you want it cinch. You guys know I'm not the biggest advocate for always cinching your waist. That's just how I feel because I came into this world straight up and down and it doesn't bother me. But sometimes I do get the hankering just, just snatched, be snatched and cinched the waist. And for when I wanted to do that, this is very convenient. It was easy to do and I love that. And also, the next one, it came out exactly the highest that I could have expected it to. And when things happen like that, I'm just like so satisfied. I'm so proud of my craftsmanship here um, that I took the time to put in the little extra details, the matching thread, the little connection of the brass or bronze pieces. Um, yeah. I'm loving, loving, loving this. I just decided to pair it with this white top that I did make. I did make this top. Um, it's from Two Men's Dress Shirt. I will put the link in the description box below. I wanted to have it on a clean slate so you, it can really pop and it can really shine. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's giving what it was supposed to give, certainly. And flipped it to the top and it was still giving. So, and I've already tried it with nothing underneath it. You'll see, you guys, I'm sure will see it in more videos to come. And I am proud of myself for what we have done in spite of the fact that when it's a top, there are no usable pockets, but at least I have the belt loops, you know, some place to put my fingers. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of these pieces. If you're going to try them, please let me know. Let me know which one, uh, what was your favorite look. And definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We have other videos for you to watch right here, right now. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.